Hey everyone, this is Anna here. I am next to my kiln and I'll have, uh, I'm gonna unload my bis firing that I had. Some of these pieces were done right before the holidays and I couldn't wait until I filled up the kiln. So I wanted to have a bis fire so I can start glazing them. And I will have uh, tutorial videos coming soon on how I'm gonna glaze these pieces. So. I'm just going to unload and explain a little bit how I'm going to glaze them uh, and on YouTube will be the longer version of the videos will be like a tutorial video and then on Instagram I'll probably put in like a time lapse type of video in there. So, so I'm just going to start unloading. The top shelf here has a lot of the speckle brown clay that I did uh, some pieces are. So I have a mixture in here, some uh, porcelain that I believe is on the bottom shelf and I have some larger pieces there here and I'll just explain as I take them out. Um, this here is a cute little cup that I made with my granddaughter and I decided to put a little frog because <laughs> Uh, this has a special meaning for both of us because she loves to, when she comes here to my house, she loves to find these little uh, tree frogs and she loves to catch them on her hands. And uh, anyway, she taught me how to not to be scared of frogs. I used to be terrified uh, of frogs and uh, she was so cute. She's not mm -hmm. scared at all of, of them. So here he is. That would be fun to to glaze him. So, anyways, yeah, she, uh, we we both did this cup together because she's still learning. Of course, she's five. Uh, actually, she'll be six now in January. Uh, but she's been doing clay with me since since she was very little, like since she was two, I think, two or three, two. I think I started. Uh, taking her to the wheel and just showing her stuff, and she loves it. And then I have uh, some test tiles that I made. So I'll be taking a lot of test tiles. I try to <laughs> put them inside of the cups. This is uh, just another tester that I did. Let's see if you can see. Because I am making some new glazes for me. So this cup didn't work out. So uh, it had like a crack or something. So. I save my pieces that don't usually work out, so so I have like a tester and a lot of times they will have a texture on it, so it's nice to test a new glaze on it so you see how it shows, you know, on a smooth surface and, and on the texture, so, and as you will see, I have several testers that I did on speckled brown clay. I don't know if I mentioned, I think this is 211, uh, 211 standard speckle brown. This is a new porcelain that I got a sample of. And <laughs> these are the very little uh, last scraps that I had because it was only four pounds of clay. And I managed to make four uh, mugs out of that sample. Uh, in fact, the, the handles, I, I used another clay, but... Uh, this is Kota, K-O-T-A, by Kentucky Mud Works. Uh, and anyways, I, I was able to make at least two test tiles that I'm going to gla uh, do some glaze testing. This is a cute little set of uh, creamer and sugar. Right here, and it's got use the lid and these I'm going to be doing the cuerda seca technique and I will be making a video so I'm excited to teach you guys what I what I know how to you know how to use this technique is very nice and the results on this clay because I've made a mug it, it comes out so nice nice texture on it This is another little frog. He's on, on a, like a little vine. He's hanging in there. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, and I am also going to use the technique cuerda seca on this one. So I'll probably gonna be painting some leaves behind him. 
uh, but he's he, he really cute. He's hanging on, almost like hugging this little, almost looks like a, a fern coming out, sprouting, and he's hanging on to it. Hard to see because it's all one color right now, but there he is. <laughs> And this big piece here, I might have to move the, my camera a little bit to see if, I, if you can tell. This is the largest piece in here. Anyways, I, I will move the camera a little closer once I put it on the table. But it's got a, see how it has a pedestal? And I made it as a fruit bowl. I do have just a few pieces that I did. Um, this was a, a cup that my niece, uh, my niece's daughter uh, and my niece with her husband came for uh, Thanksgiving and uh, she loves clay. So we, I was showing her how to throw a piece on, on, the, on the wheel and we made this cup together. It has an indentation here so she can hold it. And anyway, she asked me to glaze this in pink and purple, like would be pink here and purple dripping over the pink. So that's how I'm going to glaze this piece. This here is just a wine uh, cup. I don't know yet how I'm going to glaze this one. And I have another large, uh, would be like a fruit bowl. It has a nice pedestal too, but this is just a simple, you know, so I don't know yet what glaze combination I'm going to use. That's why I, I want to test for some of my new glazes. I can't wait to test it and see how it looks. Now, this piece here is something I've never done before, um, but I've seen it and I thought it was interesting. And it, it's a butter keeper. It's one of those French butter keepers where you put the butter in here and you put water on the bottom. Uh, I don't have one. I don't know how it works, if it works really well or not. Uh, but I figured I wanted to make one just to see and test it. Uh, and I can't wait to glaze. This is another one I'm using, that technique, the new technique in here. Some more test tiles. Ah, oh, these are all testers. And I'll be sharing with you guys the results. This is the porcelain. It's just a simple mug because I wanted to have one that is just, um, just a plain uh, mug without any designs. The other one has some designs on it. And I don't know if you can tell by... There is a difference here. Um, and this is interesting because, uh, when it was bone dry, it looked like Kota, which is here, was a little bit darker than frost, which is a really white, um, porcelain. But now that is this fire, this one looks more white than here. So now I'm starting to wonder if this is frost or is 365, porcelain 365, which is another porcelain that I use. Because I didn't have enough of this to, to make the handles. Uh, and like I said, I, I, I had enough to make four mugs of this Kota porcelain. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna work out with, with my glazes and I'll be sharing the results. This is another one of my Maca mugs that what I like to do is paint it when it's right before bone dry or leather hard with under glazes. And then I can go over and see where I need to retouch the under glaze at this stage on the bisque and then I use kittens clear which is the glaze you know the clear glaze that I use is zinc free 
and it works really well uh, with porcelain. So I decided to use some purples, orange, just different colors because it has the turquoise background. And this is, I think it's a Catalina Macaw, which is very pretty. He's very bright orange, reds, and he's got some greens on him. This will be a pretty one. Oh, I have some that I just painted uh, tumblers. This is a cute little toucan. And it's got some nice designs all, all around. And I can't wait to just put the uh, uh, clear glaze over this. And I think I'll just use my turquoise glaze as uh, my liner glaze in here. Or white. I think I could also use white since this is all color. I think white would go nicely in here too. Or I can use pink. I can use different colors in here. But he's a cutie. Oh, this is, <laughs> look how cute he is. He's a little uh, tree frog hanging out right on this little leaf there, the banana leaf or uh, what is that called also? There is a plant, oh, uh, Birds of Paradise has that leaf too. I don't know, I just decided to do some tropical leaf and put the little frog in there. So he's cute. He's the Georgia tree frog. And then he's got some different uh, painted on uh, leaves around. This is carved. So it's a mixture of carved carvings that I did and then painted leaves over. So I combined two techniques here. There's another frog. <laughs> this one is the red eye tree frog. He's also hugging this tropical plant. Almost looks like he's an umbrella. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Look at his red eyes. And like I said, if I see some little spots that I missed, I might have missed during the, uh, when it was leather hard, I can go over, like I can see just a little tiny spot right there where his uh, fingers are close to his head where it's white. So I might have missed a little spot. So those are really easy to now at this stage to correct, to just, you know, do a little touch up. There's my other tropical leaves again. On this one, besides being carved, I went with a Mako liner uh, it's hard to see because the lines are so fine, but I, I made the, the leaves, you know, the, um, just lost the word now. Anyways, the lines on the leaves, I just used the Mako liner. It's a real fine, and I did it with blue. So I believe those will show up more once I put the clear glaze over. But that's what I used, and then I put some dots on the, on this um, heliconia, I believe it's called. They don't have polka dots, but I decided just wanted to do it that way. So it turned out nice. I like it. And then I put some polka dots on this plant also, which is also carved. So this one has a lot more carving all around. I can't wait to see this one. Uh, glazed. Anyways, this is another one that is that Kota uh, porcelain with a, a with another porcelain here, another porcelain for the handle. But it's very white, which I, I'm surprised how white it is once it gets bisfired. I didn't think it was going to be as white. This is the last one. Oh, look at the flamingo. I hope the lighting is doing justice here. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I 
Wow, and these, um, I also did it with the Mako liner, these lines. I have to do a tutorial on that one because it did come out quite nice. And when I had the underglaze, it was really hard to even see it. But once it gets this fire, you can really see much, much better. And then I use some random dots in different areas like here and here. Anyways, this there's no carving on this one. It's all painted in different colors. So this is a happy mug. Can't wait to glaze this one. And this is it. This is the last one. So uh, stay tuned for the videos that I'm going to have on the tutorials, how I'm going to glaze. So I am going to be making a video for each one of these. So here is that piece that is quite large, as you can see the size of my hand here. And it's got birds and I can't remember. I'll have to post what name of this plant is. Uh, I was looking for a type of berry that has like purple berries and these longer leaves. And I found that it's an Australian uh, type of berry that you can eat. And that's what I did. I looked for the picture and I made these leaves and the berries are. So I'm going to paint them that it's like a pinkish purple color. So I can't wait to paint them. But that's the the one that has a nice pedestal that would be so cute on a kitchen um, and this is the other one it's a little bit smaller that one is taller and bigger and that's it thanks for watching guys and happy new year again bye bye